what's up guys we're back with another video if you are new here my name is sammy and we are the mermaid gang this is where you can come and suspend your disbelief i am your favorite manifestation coach youtuber probably person in general so if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation go ahead and click on the link in my description box below sammy's mermaid gang.net i have uh put my 10 emails back on there there's a very limited amount of the 10 emails just because i don't want to do too many of them or take on too many 10 email clients but yeah they're back on there if you would like to sign up all right i know it's been a minute uh, but I've been really busy because you know I have a second channel and I had to get ready for Vlogmas and just I've been busy okay and my dog is snoring if you can't hear you can't hear if you can sorry and if you hear Salem's Bell sorry and I don't know like I don't know what you expect here unless you're new and if you're new you better start expecting that because I have, I have animals that stalk me so all right so if you're not new and you do follow me on other social media or you do watch my husband's vlog channel then you know that by the way that's life wit bobby if you want to go subscribe to him he is vlogging weekly now so if you want like multiple perspectives of our life <laughs> then you can go on over there and subscribe to him it's also linked in the description and he's one of my featured channels i'm pretty sure anyway so anyway he posted the vlog of him going and getting my truck and everybody wanted to know did i manifest it of course i manifested it uh, I like I said on my vlog channel I don't tell people what I'm manifesting until after it's manifested but this one happened really freaking fast so I'm going to tell you the story but I'm also making a point out of it and the point is probably listed somewhere in the title or on the thumbnail you can absolutely manifest the house. Stop letting people tell you that you can't mess with the how. There are no rules in manifestation. No real ones other than the ones that you set on yourself. Um, maybe from learning it from someone else or whatever. Doesn't really matter where the rules came from that you created. You can uncreate them. Create new ones, etc. Like, you you can mess with whatever you want you can mess with the how you can decide how you can decide when a manifest your manifestation comes so for example this is the jeep story i thought i i'd wanted i had a jeep when i was a teenager and i had always wanted another one and i wanted one but i wanted a new one like a newer updated fully loaded one but then i switch i changed my mind i'm like no i think i want a, another car and then i'm like oh maybe i want a dodge charger and then i just kept but the, i just never would go buy anything or do anything one because um the car that i had already there was a lot left owed on that car we got screwed by the people we financed it through years ago because we were in a we couldn't we were in a position then that i mean there was nothing we could do about it we had to do whatever we had to do to get a car even if it was financed through a shitty company so we owed way more on it than what it was worth so in my mind i'm like no i'll just keep paying for it until it's paid off or whatever and then i'll trade it in or whatever but recently I got this big desire. I'm like, damn, I'm doing Vlogmas this year. I really want a Jeep. I really want a fully loaded Jeep. I want a new car to vlog in. And, but I didn't say anything to Bobby or anything like that. I just was thinking it. And I'm like, maybe I'll, um, actually I think I posted the screenshots on my Instagram where I had texted Brittany. I was like, we should make manifestation lists. I was like, cause I manifest things, but I never like make a list of things that I would really like to have. And this is something that I would really like to have before I start Vlogmas. So I made a list and at the top of my list, and I showed this on screenshot too. If I, if I didn't delete the screenshot, I'll post it here because I know now if I went in my notes, I've edited my Christmas list. So it's going to say the current date and not the date I actually put it on there. 
and my uh, same for my manifestation list if I've edited it in my notes you know it changes the date to the current date that you type something on it so I'll try to find the screenshots that I have posted on Instagram but if you follow me on Instagram then you know you saw them um the top of my list was a black Jeep Grand Cherokee I didn't I didn't want brand new I don't I feel like brand new vehicles are like the um iPhone when a new iPhone comes out I never buy it because you need to wait and see if there's bug fixes and shit like that so I don't like brand new vehicles for that same reason so I was like 2018 to 2020 I didn't want to go any newer than that obviously I don't want a 21 like I said I don't trust them I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait and see if that batch is good you know um so I specified that on my list I um, went through a couple affirmations about how I'm so happy that I have my Jeep. Well, I don't even remember what my affirmations were because it happened so fast. Uh, it was something like, I love my new Jeep. I love vlogging in my new Jeep. And in my, okay, but in my mind, let me get to the point of the how. In my mind, I'm like, if I'm going to manifest a new Jeep, I would like to do it. I would like to be able to get one through my friend who works at a dealership because it benefits him when we buy through him. We bought Bobby's truck through him. It benefits him if we can buy through him. But the only thing I was concerned about was the value of the car. Obviously, a lot of things had to be uh, had to be manifested in order for me to get this Jeep because if I traded in the car and the cars were not worth more than what's owed on it, they would lose money on it. So that would need to be adjusted and they would have to just kind of be like, oh well, we'll take it anyway. You know, uh, if you know anything about trade-ins and stuff like that, then you know what I'm, what I'm talking about. So I was like, I really wanna get it from, I wanna get it through my friend and those things would need to be worked out. Uh, I only was willing to put down a, a specific down payment I was only willing to have a specific monthly payment and but also wanted it to be fully loaded <laughs> brand new well almost brand new newer and um, them take my car and me owe nothing on it because I don't want more money from my car on top of my my Jeep like I said I have a specific down payment I was willing to put and a specific monthly payment so we're not adding to that I'm doing I'm getting what I want the way I want it so um, all of a sudden my friend who works at the dealership I hadn't told him either he sends Bobby pictures of these Jeeps that they got in and then I guess Bobby this is coming from Bobby after the fact because if you've seen his vlog you know that I didn't know apparently he sent Bobby some pictures of some Jeeps and um, there was one that was specifically everything that I wanted and somehow Bobby chose that one he was like I want to look at that one I guess well I don't think he ever actually went down there and looked at it until the day he bought it I don't know like I said I didn't know about this I was just manifesting this was like okay I started the list I put it on my list I'm gonna guesstimate around the 13th, between the 13th and the 15th. I'm not good with dates. I don't remember what day I got my truck, okay? I'm gonna be honest. It was around that time. And the same, or the day after I put it on the list, we were doing stuff around the house. I even vlogged some, but I cut it out and Bobby did vlog it. Um, he vlogged cleaning up his wheels that he was selling. He had put his wides for sale a while back. And um, he wasn't really actively trying to sell them and nobody was really wanting to give him what he wanted for him. And he had a mark pretty high because he was like, if I'm gonna sell them, I want a lot for him. And I'm like, okay, in my mind I'm like, why? But I think he didn't actually care to sell them at the time when he listed them for sale, so he marked them high. Well, so nobody was really like wanting to give him the full amount and he was like, I don't care because I don't care to sell them. But then, but then, all of a sudden, the day after I put my Jeep on my list, two people were like 
wanting them immediately and to give him full price one person wanted to come on tuesday and the other person was like no i'll drive to you today and they live two hours away that person drove two hours to come get these wheels and give bobby the amount that he wanted for them the extra amount that he wanted for them well i didn't know that he decided to use the money for my that or for a down payment on my Jeep. So the day after he sells the wheels, which I just thought he just found somebody to buy them, the next morning he gets up and leaves. And I'm used to him either, he'll either get up and go get breakfast. I don't know, I was asleep. He got up and went to go look at the Jeep and start the paperwork on it. And remember, there was a lot of circumstances, a lot, value of the car, specific down payment, specific um, monthly payment. It had to be fully loaded. It had to be the exact right Jeep at the exact right time and the exact right circumstances would need to flow perfectly. As in all of the people that work on this, the finance people and all that shit, they would need to do what is needed to be done for me to have this specific Jeep for this specific price and be done with my old car and the old company that we had financed through. Not a common thing, okay? So he goes down there and um, he texts me on the way home and he's like, I'm coming home in a Jeep for you to look at if you wanna vlog. And I'm like, vlog? Jeep? What Jeep? And he pulls up in this beautiful black and chrome 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. Peanut butter inside, panoramic sunroof, full, just fully fucking loaded. Everything that I've pictured in my head. And he's like, um, if you want it, you can have it. The cash he sold those wheels for is the cash he used for the down payment. So we got the down payment. Or he got the down payment. Um, he was able to keep my payments under what I wanted it to be. They, um, we went back down there. This was the easiest car buying process I've ever been through. Easiest car buying process I've ever been through. Went down there, paid the down payment, signed the paperwork, Told my friend thank you um they they uh they fixed the value of my car on the on paper took it off my hands let me trade it in with no problem completely off my hands refinanced me bobby put it in my name i didn't know that until i was signing paperwork he put it in my name first and his name second so that I could have something in my name. It was, it's mine. Um, and like I said, he paid the down payment. It was exactly what I was wanting, willing to put down, even though it wasn't my money, it was Bobby's money. He, he did it for me. It was literally everything. Everything was so perfect. It was literally the easiest thing I've ever done. The, he literally drove it home. I said, yes, we went back, signed paperwork. That was it. Like they took my car off my hands, refinanced me through um, a good company that the, the company I wanted to be financed through actually the same company that we did Bobby Struck with, which we love. So yeah, the same company was like, yeah, absolutely. 100%. So think of all the circumstances that had to work out just perfectly. That Jeep had to go to that lot. The perfect Jeep that I imagined in my head had to go to my friend's lot because I won't my I won't go buy from someone else because it doesn't benefit my friend. That's just something that is important to me. If I know someone um, that works somewhere and I can support them somehow or support their business or their work or whatever somehow, that's what I'm going to do. I wasn't going to go and buy a Jeep from anyone else. So that was really specific to me. It had to be from, from my friend. It had to be from him. It had to be at his dealership, benefit him. This is who me and Bobby go through. This is who we work with or you know who we go to when we need a vehicle. So it had to be, like that's it. That Jeep had to go to my friend and then 
the company and the finance people and all of them had to agree that I could have it for that down payment, for that monthly price, with all of the luxuries that I wanted, and take my car off my hands and get me out from under that finance company. They did it without even questioning. It was like not even a flinch, not even a hesitation, not a nothing. I put that Jeep on my list two days before with all those specifications in my mind. I didn't write them, they were in my mind. I knew this is how I wanted it to be. I needed it before Vlogmas. And all of those people had to comply, essentially. They had to play their part so that I got exactly what I wanted, in which they did in two days. Jeep went on the list. All of a sudden, people are just driving out of their way to come get Bobby's wheels. Bobby decides, I'm gonna use these for, I'm gonna use this money for a down payment on her Jeep. She needs a Jeep. He told me he just felt like, well, I'm selling my wheels and I got this cash in my hand anyway. I might as well go ahead and go get her a new vehicle because she let me do everything I wanted last year. Just like that kind of thought process. It was just like, oh, she let me do all the stuff in my truck and she didn't ask for anything. And she just took the, the um, older car and like, it's her turn basically kind of thing. It was, what? What do I always tell you guys? It was his idea. So of all those people, if my one desire could get all those people to comply, to play their part, to make sure I got exactly what I wanted from the dude that had to decide that that damn Jeep had to go to that damn dealership so that my friend and his bosses and the finance people and all them people could work together for me to get this exact perfect Jeep. You still don't think you can manifest your one SP? Your one SP, you're one person. You have one person's mind to change, one. You should be able to do that in an instant, okay? This should not be a struggle for you. So I need you to take my story and apply it to your life and understand that if I could get all those people working together for me in two days to give me exactly what I wanted, so I did what? I manifested on a time crunch and I decided on the how. I messed with the how. You can too. There are no rules. You are not limited. You are the most limitless being on this planet. You are a God. You are God. You, I don't care who this bothers. You are God. You are God. Okay? It's who you are. You are a powerful spiritual being. Your thoughts, your feelings, you you literally create, you're manifesting an entire universe in front of you right now. You looking at me as a manifestation. Your entire world is your manifestation. Select what you want and deselect what you don't. That's it. You can mess with anything you wanna mess with. Don't let people put rules on you and limits on you. I don't, I understand you watch different YouTubers and they all contradict each other, which to them, they're right because that's their reality, okay? In their reality, they're right. That's what works for them because that's what they assume. But you need to pick the person to listen to that most resonates with you. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't have to be me. I might not resonate with you, but whoever most resonates with you and you've gotten the best results from, that is who you need to stick to for help or encouragement or whatever you're needing, but I need you to understand that no matter what, it's always you. It's just you. It's only you. Everything is you. Your SP is you. So if you decide how they're going to conform or what they're going to do or when, great. Stick to that. Stand firm on it and don't let anything tell you different. Don't let anyone tell you different. Manifesting money. Manifest a how if you want to. Anything you want, whatever it is that you're manifesting, you can mess with the how, you can decide the how. But if you think that, you know, deciding the how is too much for you, then don't. You also don't have to. You also don't have to manifest on a time crunch. You can leave it open-ended. It's totally up to you, it doesn't matter. It's your world, it's your rules. 
you can literally do whatever you want but I want you to take my story all of you are always asking me what are, what are your success stories and there was never anything really either I didn't want to share it because some of my stuff is just personal or I, it wasn't significant enough to really make a difference or make a lesson out of um, because it was nothing I haven't taught before but I did want to talk about my Jeep because it was something that happened so fast and I think it's just because I had been recently and even more now working on living, acting, thinking, feeling from my God state and if you want me to talk more about that I might talk about that in the next video actually. Really reminding myself because sometimes I can get caught up in the 3D world too, just like you. You're not the only one. I'm not some, I'm not different. I'm not special um, compared to you. It's sometimes I get caught in the 3D world too and I forget who I am. Not that I can't, not that I forget I can manifest. I know I can manifest, but I forget to the extent that I create. And sometimes I need to remind myself that negative thoughts, feelings, struggles, circumstances, things like that that you encounter, people, they're not real. Any, you are God, okay? This is what I've been working on lately. You are God and God is love and abundance and happiness. And if it's not that, it's not your true nature, it's not something you're meant to experience, so it's not real. And so you can reject it. And that's what I want you to start doing. Rejecting or selecting. What do you want? So in the next video, I'm going to talk about being instead of manifesting. Okay? And the God state. That's what we're going to talk about in the next video. I wasn't sure yet, but now I'm pretty sure that's what I want to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed my success story. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who congratulated me on it. Um, even though I manifested it, my husband was very nice to spend money that was his that he could have bought another set of wheels with on me instead. And if I can do that, you can get your SP to do whatever you want to. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.